Hello there, people of the grid. Micah here, and I am on my way to the mall, or specifically to the Apple Store. My phone, this morning it was working. I went in early for a workout, first time this week, which is good because it's Monday. No, it's Tuesday. I did work out yesterday, so this is like my second workout, two days in a row. It's good. It's just looking like a good week. So the phone was working this morning, and then when I came out, nothing bad happened to it. It wasn't dropped or anything. All of a sudden, it said it was on the cellular extended network for Rogers here where I live, and then it just went into searching mode, searching for a network, searching for a network, lost all access to 3G, LTE, even Edge. Like, it cannot get a cell, cell signal out through the radio, which means I can't make phone calls. Uh, I can't get data or phone calls. Wi-Fi works fine, the Wi-Fi antenna is fine. So I'm going in for an appointment at the Apple store and what I suspect will happen is they'll probably replace the whole unit, which is fine. I backed it up, it's all good. It's just a pain in the butt. It's like I need this thing working. It's my lifeline. So we're gonna get it working. Well, all done at the Apple Store, phone is up and running, and you know what it was? It was just a simple reset. It's a known issue with Rogers. If you wipe the phone, SIM card starts working again. Strangest thing. So it cost me about an hour, but uh, I hung out in their store, and uh, I used the network there to download all my updates, and got everything up to date there. So phone is back online. Done at the mall, made it back home, and I've got a meeting tonight. Tammy and the kids are going to be going to Okotoks because Amelia's got a baseball game, so I'm gonna miss that. Bummer. So today, I figured I'd push the limits. I'm going on a one-wheel commute. All right, I'm gonna be traveling. 9.7 kilometers is the distance. But I'm going through the valley, so it should actually be less. I hope it's less. Now the most I've ever gone on this thing is about 13 kilometers. So it should be well within the range, providing I don't push it too fast and go up and down too many hills. And there's one, it's in a valley, so I'm gonna be going down. I'm gonna pick up a lot of regen on the way down. I'll probably have to walk up on the other side. We'll see. And then on coming back, it'll be the same thing. Whoa. While I'm at my meeting, I'll charge up the one wheel for the ride back. If this works, which I think it will, this could be a game changer. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire. But it's no use Cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true Baby, let the light shine through Guys, this is incredible. Top of the hill, I was at 84% battery in the one wheel. By the time I made it to the bottom, I gained 2% of uh, range. Sweet! Now, I'm in the bottom of the valley and it's pretty much straight through to the other side where I think I'll just power it right up all the hills and see how far we can make it. The scenery here is so much better than if I would have drove. Look at this. This is Fish Creek Park. We'll have to take the kids here for a bike ride. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light shine through?
you're not going to believe this, but I made it up the other hill on the other side of the valley. I figured I had enough battery power, so I tried it, and sure enough, because it was a nice gradual uphill, there was only one part where it was steep, but uh, I made it up, and it looks like I'm going to make it to my meeting with some juice left in the battery, which is great, because during the meeting, I'm going to charge it back up to 100% for the, for the uh, return trip home. This is awesome. Not too shabby. Made it with 6% uh, of battery remaining. All right, guys, made it to the meeting just fine. It was awesome. I'm heading home now. One tip for you, when you're riding a one wheel on grass or on rough surfaces, I, I bit it on the way here. I was trying to shift my rear foot. It just, it didn't feel right. I'd gone over some bumps and it moved a bit and I was trying to get it where I wanted it. That's what triggered the wipeout. So if you really want to shift foot position, um, I would suggest you stop get on again with the right foot position and, and go or wait till you got some steady ground to do it on that is all That was incredible. I just rode uh, whatever it is, 8.7 or let's call it nine kilometers. I'll convert that to miles. I rode from here to my meeting, had the meeting, charged the one wheel at the meeting. It was ready to go before the meeting was over. Left the meeting, rode all the way home in the dark. Like it got really dark out there. Fired up the lights on the one wheel, which they don't really light your way but they make it so that people can see you. And they also, the way the light shoots, because it's so low on the ground, it lights up the inconsistencies in the terrain. So you can see about a half a second before you nail something bad that you're gonna nail it, which is enough time to you know compress and deal with it. No wipeouts on the way home. I made it all the way up the hill on our side of the valley and uh, I still had range left. I had 18% battery left when I got to the house here. Ford's charging. It'll be ready to go in about 40 minutes. Are you going again? <laughs> no, I'm not going again. I'm tired. Well, I'm going to run uh, some video of Amelia's baseball game. Apparently she had a great game. She got smoked in the arm, um, got walked to first. She's got a big welt on her arm, but uh, she had a good game. They had fun. We tied that first tied one. That's your best game ever. You guys played. I awesome. got a good out. Did you see the out? Yes. I got the grounder and then I perfect throw. And then yeah, it was awesome. And I captured your batting, your first bat. That was so. I almost cried. Oh, you were so brave and you were so tough. Let's see it. It's not that bad anymore. Um, it is somewhat bubbled up. Yeah. Does this ow, hurt? Ow. That hurts. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna have like a weird ring now. Yeah. Well, I was like, I thought it was just gonna go past me, so I figured I wouldn't move. Yeah, well, I hit your arm and moved you for uh -huh. for itself. Well, great game. So, where are we going? Ice cream. Awesome. We're celebrating our first not lose. <laughs> Good job. Mm -hmm. Do we have a game tomorrow? We don't know. We'll figure that out tomorrow. Hope you guys had a good day. I did. Miker, out.